In this brief demonstration, we're going to walk through how to account for the acquisition costs of a combined transaction that has land building and improvements. The problem is written in yellow in front of you. Cerner Manufacturing purchased a large lot in which an old building is located as part of its plan to build a new plant. The negotiated purchase price is $225,000 for the lot and $120,000 for the old building. The company pays $34,500 to tear down the old building and $51,000 to landscape the lot. It also pays a total of $1,440,000 in construction costs, and of that amount, $1,354,500 represents the cost for the new building and $85,500 for the lighting and paving of a parking area next to the building. We're asked to prepare a single journal entry to record these costs incurred by the manufacturer and, we, and all of it is paid in cash. So let's start off with determining the cost of the land. First there's the purchase price for the land. And that amount given in our problem is 225000 Next, we need to consider purchase price for the old building. And that is given as 120000 Now, another cost of the land is the demolition costs. That is given in our problem as $34,500, excuse me. And finally, we have landscaping costs. All of these are considered cost of the land, and the landscaping costs are $51,000. So the total cost of the land, I'll just hit the sum button, is $430,500, and we don't need to show pennies. Now let's tackle the cost of the new building and the land improvements. First, there's the cost of the new building. And our problem tells us that's a million three five four five hundred dollars. Then we need to add to that the cost of any land improvements. Oh, if I can spell it right. And that cost is given as eighty five five hundred. Again, we'll sum that to come up a million four. So now we have the costs of the land and the building and land improvements separated. We can make the entry. We're going to have a debit to land, a debit to land improvements. Let me move the mouse out of the way. A debit to building. If I can again, if I can type it correctly. Oh, boy. L-D-I-N-G. There we go. And a credit to cash. I'm going to, going to increase, indent the cash so we can see the effect. Land represents the cell C9 above. Land improvements would represent the 85.5 and the cost of the building, the 1354. And the cash is going to be the sum of that of a million eight seventy five hundred. And here we've walked through a problem uh, where we've acquired a number of assets in one step, and we need to make sure we record the correct acquisition cost in the correct accounts.